In Tampa, there is always an exciting cultural event to attend or activity to do. St. Patrick's Day is most definitely not an exception to this rule. FTC reporter Katie was at Curtis Hickson Waterfront Park to cover how Tampa goes green for St. Patty's Day. With just a wee bit of rain, people have gathered here in downtown Tampa to celebrate Irish culture and watch the river turn a bright shade of green. With the City of Tampa Water Department leprechauns turn this river green! <laughs> Not even the rain could delay the 5th annual Mayor's River of Green Fest at Curtis Hickson Park in downtown Tampa. Believe it or not, dyeing the Hillsborough River green was high on Mayor Bob Buckhorn's list of priorities when he entered office. The city of Chicago had done this for years and I knew when I got elected that I was going to do it too. And so we cooked up our own formula for the dye which is much greener than Chicago's. And every St. Patrick's Day we have a big party to celebrate the river and downtown and all of our Irish friends. and. Uh, Unfortunately, the weather's a little like Ireland today, uh, but that's okay. The rain never got in the way of a good Irish party. The rain certainly didn't get in the way of this family celebrating their Irish roots. They were quite impressed by the city's dedication to embracing cultural diversity. It shows that we're involved with everything and shows the spirit of St. Patrick's Day. Actor Mike Norton understands a festival celebrating Irish culture and folklore just would not be a celebration without a leprechaun. He's the mastermind behind Tampa's lovable mischief maker, Patio Furniture. The glow of the Kelly Green River has got Patty a bit giddy. It says pride, you know, that we are so powerful, that we have gone so far that we can take this Hillsborough River, named by the English, you know, in between the time Florida was owned by Spain, and Spain, <clears throat> and we can take a river as mighty as Hillsborough and dye it green safely. Why, that's just a testament to mankind's technological virtuosity. With such a lively MC leading the festivities, the River of Green is filled with laughter and all sorts of fun. Not only does this event include fantastic music and entertainment, it also includes a key part of every culture, food. Shepherd's pie is the ultimate form of Irish comfort food. Warm and perfect for any occasion. Uh, it's important because it's a classic uh, Irish dish. It has potatoes, which are classically Irish. From local businesses to fun activities for families, this festival truly has something for everyone. And there's always a good cause involved with the River of Green. Every three food items get you a free t-shirt. Uh, all goes to the Salvation Army, doing good here in Tampa. Nobody goes hung hungry St. Patrick's time in Tampa, so thanks for your generosity. Happy yeah. St. Patrick's Day. Katie Heard with From the Core. After only five years, the mayor's River of Green has proven to be a great Tampa tradition. The next River of Green will take place in March of 2017. It probably would not hurt if you started making plans now to attend next year's event. <laughs> 